hell with your Tampa Bay Lightning pregame preview. The Lightning just checked off their first Canadian road trip of the season. The Bolts bounced back after Thursday night's loss against the Toronto Maple Leafs on Saturday afternoon as they took the 5-3 win over the Ottawa Senators. The Lightning are going into this week's games with the motivation from Saturday night's win as they'll be facing off against three familiar faces that might give you a little deja vu from the 2021 playoffs. Tonight, the Lightning will be facing off against the Carolina Hurricanes. Coach John Cooper elaborated on what he expects from the next upcoming games this week at Emily. Well, I hope we get some points out of this. Uh, it's, it is unique that we're playing the three teams we had to go through to get to the cup final uh, all in a row. Um, <clears throat> Lightning fans get excited because Zach Bogosian skated with the team for the first time since suffering a lower body injury during the season opener against the Pittsburgh Penguins. Coach John Cooper gave us a little bit of an update on Bogo's return. <clears throat> Probably let's get through these few these next three at home here, I think, and then we'll be talking about him coming back. Going into tonight's matchup against the Carolina Hurricanes, a player that I think everyone needs to keep their eyes out for is Matthew Joseph of the Tampa Bay Lightning. I think Joseph's playing, honestly, some of his best hockey right now. He hasn't found the back of the net in the past couple of games, and right now he only has one goal and around three assists, so overall four points. But he played absolutely outstanding in Saturday's afternoon game against the Ottawa Senators, and he even picked up a point from that game. So I'm definitely expecting a lot from Matthew Joseph in tonight's matchup. Expect Andre Vasilevsky between the pipes. Now the action begins at 7 o'clock. Neither team were able to find the back of the net in the first period. However, once the second went underway, it was all Tampa Bay Lightning. Lightning fans may have had a slight panic as Ryan McDonough seemed to hurt one of his hands as he ended up blocking a shot, but in real hockey player fashion, McDonough didn't miss a shift. Matthew Joseph ended up setting up a beautiful play, which led to Captain Stan Stankos to find the back of the net, scoring the first goal of the game. It was announced that Eric Chernak would not be returning in the third period due to an upper body injury. And in the middle of the third period, Tara Biden of the Carolina Hurricanes tied up the game while the Canes were on a power play. 60 minutes of fun wasn't enough for the Tampa Bay Lightning as the Bulls headed into overtime against the Carolina Hurricanes. And tonight's OT is the fifth overtime the Lightning have had so far this season. As soon as the puck dropped in OT, it was all dominated by the Carolina Hurricanes. Nietzsche's of the Canes ended up finding one past Andre Vasilevsky, securing the win for the Carolina Hurricanes. The Lightning leave tonight's game with one point. However, the Lightning will look to bounce back Saturday night against in-state rival Florida Panthers.